the floors and did the laundry and fetched the dogs. Afterwards, she would sit all alone in the corner of the fireplace among the cinders. And this is why she was called Cinderella. One fine day, the three sisters received an invitation sisters were delighted and they began their preparations. They chose their finest dresses and their most sparkling jewelry that they could find. Cinderella had to help them dress, but they refused to let her go with them to the ball because she had nothing but her ragged clothes and clocks to wear. So poor Cinderella was left behind. Suddenly, there was a flash of light and she jumped up startled. There in front of her stood her fairy godmother with a magic wand in her hand. Why the tears, my dear, she asked. Because I would so like to go to the ball, fairy grandmother, she said. Then you shall, replied the fairy. First, go out into the garden. Fetch me a pumpkin. Cinderella picked up the largest pumpkin she could find and came running back. She couldn't imagine how it would help her to get to the ball, but she did. Her fairy godmother took the pumpkin, hollowed it out, and tapped with her wand with slow motions. Then came a puff of smoke. Suddenly, lo and behold, the place of the pumpkin, there stood a magnificent coach. And now we need some horses, said the fairy. Go to the larder and fetch me the mousetrap. Cinderella, confused, brought it. There were four live mice inside. The fairy tapped them one by one. One by one. Four splendid gray horses pranced about, already harnessed. What about the coachman? asked Cinderella. This was all becoming very exciting. Well, well, let's see, said the fairy. Cinderella, go to the cellar and bring me the rat trap. There was a rat the trap, twitching its long whiskers with the tap of a fairy's wand. Lo and behold, a jolly fat whiskered coachman stood by the horses. He bowed to Cinderella. Will there be some footmen too, giggled Cinderella. But of course, said the fairy, there are two sleeping lizards behind the watering can in the yard. Bring them to me carefully. Cinderella found them, and before they could scamper away, the fairy godmother tapped them with her wand, and lo and behold, they were turned into a smartly dressed footman, and they ran out to attend the waiting coach. Now, my girl, said the fairy godmother, we'll have to do something about those clothes of yours. Cinderella.